there's some baseline toxicities that you see with all PARP inhibitors and then there are more specific toxicities because you know each of these drugs when you think about Olaparib which is really the lead PARP inhibitor then Niraparib, Rucaparib and then the fourth uh, is Viliparib which is in upfront testing for uh, a GY, or a NRG trial in newly diagnosed patients. So they all have side effects of bone marrow suppression. Um, they all have side effects of some fatigue. And they all have side effects of gastrointestinal toxicities. So nausea, dyspepsia, uh, you know, abdominal fullness, some diarrhea, occasional vomiting. Um, and, and those side effects can be managed with, you know, changing patient's diet. Um, those side effects sometimes just get better by their own within, you know, a few weeks. And then the bone marrow side effects can be drop in white count, drop in red blood cell count, um, thrombocytopenia, and just have to be mindful of those side effects as patients start on these medications and really making sure that when they start the drug, that they have a good hemoglobin and hematocrit, uh, that they're not too anemic when they start, because then they'll, they'll, drop, they'll drop lower. And then there's some pretty idiosyncratic um, side effects depending upon the PARP inhibitor. So for example, for rucaparib, um, you can have, the, you can see elevation of liver function tests. Um, there's elevation of cholesterol. Um, with olaparib and also rucaparib, you can see elevation of the serum creatinine. Um, and you see that because the drug competes with some uh, uh, pumps within the cells of the body that excrete creatinine. So it's actually an artifact of the drug. It's not, it doesn't mean that the kidney function is getting worse. It just means that um, you know, it's just kind of an idiosyncratic effect of the drug, but just to monitor it very carefully. Um, so there's some idiosyncratic side effects amongst the different PARP inhibitors.